Hi guys! I hope you're well. So today I'm bringing to you a gorgeous pillow, um, a crochet pillow that I absolutely adored making. It's super easy, it's super simple and you don't need a lot of materials to make it. So yes. So first of all, welcome back to my to one of my videos. My name's Selena. I make crochet videos and tutorials and um, a crochet tutorial comes out every week. So don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and you like crochet um, to my channel because I'll be bringing to you lots of different projects. So yes, yeah, so today I'm bringing this project. It was really easy. I made it with two skeins of um, James C. Brett's Baby Marble Double Knit and it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous um, yarn to, knit, um, to crochet with. You also need a 4mm crochet hook and a um, pair of scissors, a tapestry needle and also um, some stuffing so you can find it in any craft store I actually had a, an old pillow that I could use so I'm just going to use the stuffing from the pillow um, basically that I had just to use that up and not waste and that's what you will need for this project so without further ado I'll just show you um, how to make this project. So for this project I will be using US terms and I will be making a smaller sample just to show you what to do. So to begin your project you will be chaining 51 and you will be making two, um, two equally um, large um, square sides and you will be chaining 51 in the sample I'm going to show you. I have chained a smaller amount but the um, process is the exact same. So just chain 51 and make two. To begin you are going to be making a slip knot. Once you've made your slip knot just pop your hook through and tighten. One, two, three, four, so I've just chained my um, sample and I will be showing you the pattern. I'm going to be single crocheting into the third chain from the hook. So just count one, two, three and pop a single crochet through that. So just pop your hook through the chain, take your yarn, pull it through. You've got two loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through two loops and you've got a single crochet. In the next stitch you are going to be placing a double crochet, so wrap your yarn around your hook, pop it through the chain, pull your yarn, you've got three loops on your hook, take your yarn, pull through two loops, take your yarn, pull through two loops. In the next chain you will be popping a single crochet into, so just pop a single crochet into the next chain and into the next chain you will be popping a double crochet. So just do a double crochet into that and in the next a single crochet and yes what we will be doing throughout this um, row is alternate double crochets and single crochets. So in the next stitch you will be doing a double crochet and so on and so forth. So I'll just let you do that until the end of the row and I'll show you how to do the next row. So I've just finished my row and I finished on a double crochet in the last chain. So to do row two we are going to be chaining one. So chain one, turn your work and we are going to be alternating um, single crochets and double crochets um, from row to row. So basically um, we finished our previous row on a double crochet so we've chained one which counts as a single crochet and what we are going to do is um, pop a double crochet on top of the single crochet from the previous row so that's the next stitch so just 
pop a double crochet on top of the single crochet and basically the um, process is every time you see a double crochet you pop a single crochet over it and every time you see a single crochet you pop a double crochet over that and so on and so forth. So the next stitch is a double crochet from the previous row so we're gonna single crochet into that and the next stitch right here is a single crochet so you are going to pop a double crochet on top of that the next stitch is a double crochet and we're going to pop a single crochet on top of that and the next stitch is a single crochet and we're going to pop a double crochet on top of that so basically that's what you're going to do so it's the exact same as um, the first row alternating single crochets and double crochets so you will be popping a double crochet on top of the single crochets and you will be popping a single crochet on top of the double crochets so yeah I'll just let you um, finish this row and I'll just show you row three so basically to do row three we are going to be chaining one turn your work and you are going to be repeating row two over and over so um, you're going to do exactly the same as in row two so that's the previous row I showed you so this first single crochet counts uh, this first chain counts as a single crochet so the next stitch is going to be a double crochet the next stitch is going to be a single crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row and then this is a single crochet and we're going to pop a double crochet through it. So basically you are just going to be repeating row 2 until um, the end of the row and then once you get at the end of the row um, you will pop a double crochet in that last um, stitch and then repeat the um, sequence over and over and if you need more help just re rewind the video sorry and so you will be making 40 rows so just repeat um, the process that I just showed you for 40 rows and once you reach 40 rows um, just snip off your yarn but I would recommend leaving a long tail just to sew in your sides and your pillow. It just makes it a bit easier. And obviously make two and then I'll get back to you once you've made both sides. So you must have made both sides and I'll just show you the next step. So I'm just going to pop um, my needle through um, the... Um, the yarn that I left and just choose whichever side you prefer to make your pillow and I'm just going to pop in the loose ends into um, the side that's going to be stuffed if that makes any sense and I'm just going to um, pop the needle through the other side to attach it and start the, um, the stitching and I'm just going to pop my so sorry about that so basically I've just popped my um, needle through the other um, the other side of the pillow and what I'm going to do is just go back and forth from one side of um, the pillow cushion sorry to the other just to sew it so there we go so just sew it it's very simple you can use any sewing technique that you prefer this is just the technique that I use I just go in one side and then another side and just stitch it so what you're going to do is just stitch your pillow and just do that until um, so for the next three sides so basically you are going to I'm just gonna de-zoom so you can see properly so you're just going to stitch that um, side that I've just showed you just pulling um, the pillow the cushion slightly so that it fits um, 
the right um, side and then you're going to go onto that side and then the top of the pillow, the cushion and just stitch those so that you've only got one um, side left to sew and I'll show you how to put the stuffing in. Hi guys, so I'm back with my cushion. So I've um, sewn every single side. So I've sewn this side, this side and this side. And I've partly sewn this side too because um, what we're going to do now is fill this pillow up with um, stuffing. So basically I've just left a small pocket so that once um, we've stuffed it, because obviously we are going to be turning it round, if that makes any sense. So that's why I've left all those loose ends, because um, we're going to turn the pillow round for the rest of this project. So basically, just sew in all your sides until you have like a small pocket left, large enough to pop all your stuffing in and that's like about a bit more than half of this um, side. Once you've done that, you are going to turn your pillow inside out. Uh, well, not pillow, cushion, <laughs> sorry. So I'm turning my cushion inside out and there we are, we've got a beautiful um, seamless um, effect. So this is the side that we want um, shown on the outside so basically this is it so now that we've got the good side um, showing we're just gonna take like chunks of our stuffing so I like to like really stuff my cushions up because to so try and just pop the stuffing in as best you can kind of like um so that it doesn't look um, too, um, I don't know, like try and make it equally stuffed, if that makes sense. So what I do is I just stuff it a bit randomly <clears throat> to begin with. I do put quite a lot of stuffing in because I find that cushions very quickly um, go down in volume. There we go. So as you can see, it's a bit lumpy, so to speak. So we are just going to go in and try as best we can and make to make it like less lumpy, so just use your common sense. There we go, this side looks really good. So there we go. So I'm just going to finish this cushion and stitch it together. So obviously for this um, part, you really want to try and have like a seamless stitch effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the mattress stitch, which is going back and forth in between each sides um, to create a seamless stitch. Obviously, um, trying to be as neat as possible. And I'll let you carry on with this, like so, until the end of this um, project. And then I'll get back to you so for the finishing So here I am touches. at the end of the project. So I finished here, however you can finish on any um, side or corner that you wish. I'm just going to add my last um, stitches. So I've only got like um, these small tiny loose ends. So there we go. So just go ahead and do that. Once you've finished, you're just going to make a knot with each of your loose ends trying to be as um, discreet as possible. So there we go. I'm just going to pull that through. There we go. So we've made a knot. It's almost seamless. And what you're just going to do is pop that loose end into the pillow cushion. There we go. I'm just going to snip it off because obviously no one's going to look inside the cushion if that makes any sense. So just that's how I'm going to do my loose ends. So just pop them into your cushion, snip them off and there we go. We've got a gorgeous spring 
rainbow beautiful cushion so it's gonna take its shape um, very quickly sometimes it just needs a few hours just to settle if that makes any sense and it's a gorgeous little project for the spring so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe for a new crochet video every week and don't forget to comment because I answer all my comments and also if you've got anything you'd like me to uh, make just let me know in the meantime have a lovely week bye bye Thank you.